good, y'all. So in this video, I'm going to react to two. Um, I think Drake is going outside. I don't remember the title. This is a pretty common thing for me. Whatever. It's a Jamari video. And it's something about Drake. And it's something about him being sad. So. And it's Juneteenth, mofos. So. I, I don't I don't know. Um, Kendrick has a show today. And he's, you know, represented for the, the, for the blacks. How Drake is being sad or whatever. But... The climax of the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef. For Kendrick, he has mostly been silent other than an appearance that he made. <laughs> That's one thing I will say. Like he, he, first of all, I don't care y'all opinions is what y'all opinions is, I guess. But at the end of the day, Kendrick ate him up, chewed him, spit him out, put it back in his mouth, took him out. He he killed him. That's it. That's just that. Like it's no no debate. No, well he didn't want. Like I don't care. I don't want to hear it. He ate him up, killed him, and has been quiet. He didn't do none of them antics that Drake was doing while they was beefing. No Instagram stories and 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 all this extra the gimmicky stuff. He didn't do that shit. He did what he needed to do and carried his ass. Showing up at college, graduations, giving speeches, you know, just doing having a show, pop out, pop out in friends or whatever it's called in Cali that's going on today as I said. So, I don't know how I'm going to be able to watch that. I it, uh, I don't know. Figured it out. But anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, like it's a very clear difference again, regardless, like let's, let's put the rap skills to the side, a very clear difference of just character and what type of people they are. That's it. That's it. Back in his hometown of Compton, where he gave a surprise speech during a graduation at Compton's community college. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of the city of Compton. I'm proud of Compton college. You know, y'all had a lot of hardship, not only in your house, in your communities, but most importantly, within yourself. Come on. And that's the toughest thing to overcome. When I walk out in these cities and these, these, these countries. Oh my God, his like, his just, his just, his aura. He's just. This is where I'm from. Ugh. Other than that, it has been radio silence from the victor of this beef. But for Drake, you could pretty much say the exact opposite. He has exact been back opposite. to posting his sassy captions on Instagram. First, we got this gem where he says that the only yes man around him is his Rolex dealer. He also took some time to hit the Dallas Mavericks with the classic Drake curse. And he also posted this photo at his son's soccer game of himself, saying that goats don't worry about one trick ponies. To me, this post, along with everything else Drake has done since waving the white flag, has the same energy as a woman who got broken up with and keeps posting onto her Instagram story that she swears she's not hurt. She swears she's out having fun at the club, maybe she posts some messages she's gotten from thirsty guys in her DMs. All while still throwing shots at TEDx she apparently could care less about. The other thing about this photo is that Drake is seemingly wearing the same outfit that Kendrick wore on the cover of Mr. Morale. And while some might just see this That's... as a big coincidence, I feel like when it comes to Drake everything is very intentional. Also, who's out here letting Drake around kids? I hope his buddy Baka isn't around. That the caption here was obviously a dig at Kendrick, with a reference to an old movie called One Trick Pony, where the premise reads, Jonah is a once popular folk rock musician trying to put together a new album in the face of an indifferent record company executive and a talentless producer. At the same time, he's trying to save his failing marriage. So I guess that's the angle that he seemingly still wants to run with is like bad husband Kendrick like at this point Drake is putting more thought into his Instagram post and outfits than he did his final response which by the yeah, way and, and, and Drake's not in a long lasting committed relationship like so what the fuck are we talking about you know what I'm saying like I, I'm uh, and I'm not saying that people can't have their opinions on somebody else's situation but it's not like he's been this most stand up loyal man that treats women great it's, the way he has deleted from his Instagram page, as well as every other post involving this beef. To many people, this was him officially bowing out of the beef. You know, I thought it was J. Cole who was saying that he might delete later, but it's looking like Drake is going to take that path as well. Now, speaking of Drake's best diss, Family Matters, which is actually very good, we did get some intel into how... Ken I don't really like that one. I like Taylor Made way better. I thought it was weird, but I thought it was just like a... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And Drake was basically... It was directed. All of the... All of the... Um... Bars were directed at Kendrick, the, number one. Um, I thought it sounded better, but maybe that's because it was not his voice. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> like, I used to fuck with Drake Heavy. I'm not going to lie. But after this shit, ugh. um, But it was just like, I don't know. Maybe that's just more my style. But all that poppy shit and family matters, I wasn't really fucking with it. Kendrick did something in his mouth. Somebody get him a Grammy, right? Like, I don't know. I just want my... Didn't want waiting me. for Drake to drop a track so that he could step all over it with Meet step. the Grams and, of course, Stomp. the instant classic, Not Like Us. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna give you some real insight. As you hear in this first. They drop Family Matters, and I text him, I'm like, 
this ain't it. He's at, like, at all. I, I'm like, this ain't gonna get it. I was like, man, it's time to step on his head. He was like, say less. I didn't, I'm thinking we just take, it ain't nothing deep like that. It's, right. I go to the bathroom, I come back, the motherfucking song is uploaded. I text him like, nigga, you already, he's like, man, I've been waiting for this nigga to drop something. So he didn't even know what he was going to get. Man, Drake shot a video and all this shit, man. Went that boy was at the Dodge crib. Caravan. Boom, boom, you listen. Suck the life out of the whole moment for Sometimes Drake. Sometimes you just gotta know what to do and what not to do. So as many predicted, Kendrick had that song waiting on deck. And I would have to assume the same about the kill shot that- I mean, obviously, up. there would be no other option than him having to have it, because how the fuck would he have- a Others have been dancing to. And yes, I know Drake will be fine and still have a very successful career, but the optics of this, to me, have done damage to his career that he can never really brush under the rug. He got kids dancing along to this song. And college bands playing it in unison at pep rallies. In contrast, Drake would make an appearance at a pool party where he would look incredibly uncomfortable as they played his older record with Sexy Red. Now let's be honest, had the DJ decide to play Not Like Us, yes, it would have been a legendary moment, but he I feel should, like that uh... night, he would have been murdered by Drake and his team. We know this is a fact because his in-house producer and right-hand man, OVO40, allegedly threatened a Toronto DJ named DJ Cypher Sounds after he decided to play the Not Like Us record in Toronto. So I'm in Toronto, I get a DM, I'm gonna smack you in the mouth. So you know his camp is also feeling the heat. Either way, the crowd here looks completely dead as most of them stare at Drake as if he's some sort of animal at the zoo. Also, wearing those baggy-ass denim jeans in the Houston, Texas heat is certainly a choice. Like, yes, Drake, we know you got swamp ass. And somehow, even a month later, Drake's biggest fans are still coping and scrambling for him, trying to make up false narratives. Several of his biggest Dick Rider pages have attempted to get these stories off the ground, claiming that Kendrick also used Ghost Riders in the past. You know, after they were embarrassed by all those different reference tracks. Even to this credit, I feel like you're still battling these ghost riding rumors and this type of thing. Uh, I pulled my weight when it came to my pen. It wasn't like I just, it wasn't like I needed somebody to facilitate, you know, entire ideas. We work together. Anybody that knows me knows that my strongest talent is writing. And any song that really, really did damage for me, I've wrote every single lyric. But in the end, these attempts were a failure, as it was quite obvious that Kendrick was the one making reference tracks for other people. In this situation, it was specifically for fellow TDE member J-Rock, and there was also this page trying to say that Janae Aiko wrote a verse for Kendrick as well, but this was also quickly debunked with a simple Google search of that song. Like, she literally went back and made her part of the song better after Kendrick sent his verse. I don't know, it's just hilarious to me that these people who are trying to defend Drake always- Are just simply lying. They're like the same kind of people that Kendrick is saying Drake is. So his supporters are just like him. Are y'all not Ke like, come on. Up in turn, making Kendrick look even better. And it's like he hasn't even had to say anything for over a month and he's still somehow winning. In terms of more behind the scenes intel, Elliot Wilson, who has been Drake's very trusted friend for years, like he gave him that exclusive interview, now took to the Joe Budden podcast to say this. You can send me a rat emoji. Hey. Cause I think he started to think like like Venice, like Kendrick's in Venice, you're in Venice, like But you so thirsty, you're not concerned with investigation. Instead you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. So I have to view it like I'm just really against him. So when he dropped Family Matters, it was just like, I was like, yo, you dropping this tonight? He'll be back like, yeah, yeah, whatever, LOL, like, da, da, da. And then he sent me a rat emoji. And I'm like, I hit him with the 50 cent. I was like, what the shit me for? Like, blah, blah, like, but I didn't like that shit. Don't send me a fucking rat emoji. So by him sending Elliot that emoji, obviously that's his way of calling him a rat. And it's also alluding to the idea that he that was he the was mole the in his leak. camp that he swore he did not have on the hard part six. And not only is he admitting that there's a mole in his camp, a double agent, if you will, but he still does not know who it is. And that's apparently not even the only person who Drake has problems with behind the scenes. As academics would let us in on a little secret that there's another massive rapper in the game who has collaborated with Drake in the past on a massive hit who also hates him. Yo, I found out Drake Ooh. has an op that none of us know that is a huge rapper that we all think is his friend. I mean, some cool. Shut the fuck up. That's J. Cole right there. That's J. Cole right there. That's J. Cole right there. It gotta be. It gotta fucking be because everybody else that he collaborated with, we was very. What if the shit Little Wayne? What if the shit is Little Wayne? What if it's Nicki Minaj? Oh no, it's too many options. I'm finna pass on his body. I'm John Stockton. Hey, shut the fuck up. Some of y'all have guessed it. Like, is he and him cool? But oh, like, no. Okay, Nicki Minaj out of the way because he and him. It's Lil Wayne. It's Lil Wayne. It's Lil Wayne. It's Lil Wayne or J. Cole. That's it. Oh, they got big records together. They're, no. That nigga hates him too. I'm like, what? 
So, of course, everyone speculated that that was Travis Scott, who obviously has sicko oh. mode under his belt, and Drake has <laughs> an iconic oh. purse. Look, all I'm saying is don't be surprised. But no, I feel like everybody kind of knew they ain't like each other, so it can't be him. So I'm going to still go with my, my guesses. I'm going to go with my guesses. Surprised when we see other rappers now start popping off and taking shots at Drake while he's at his most vulnerable that we've seen him since the Pusha T diss. Lastly, Drake would also release that garbage parody of Hey There Delilah, which was just god awful. Like, I don't even care if it's a parody. Seeing people like Maul try and put his cape on to defend this shit of a song is hilarious. Playing why, like why wouldn't we I mean, like this with a, bit of, with a little bit of, you know, drill sprinkled into it a little bit? Where's the drill? There's no drill, Maul. It's an acoustic well, guitar. A little bit. But I want to know what you guys think about these updates in the situation. It's just like very telling, like I said, of what type of people these uh, these rappers are. It is like behind the the mask, this performative mask. What type of people they are? Like I said, I feel like Kendrick kept it where I like it. Rap, rap. All this extra tweet in and 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 Instagram stories and captions and little girly ass shit is not necessary. I don't even condone it when the, the female rappers do it. I've said multiple times in my videos. Keep it at rap. Please stop the Twitter rants. I can't keep up. I'm not, I don't want to look. I, I can't keep scrolling to who said who and what hat. No, keep it in the fucking raps. Please. Don't go lot. Like, stop. <laughs> stop. And I feel like that's what he's doing. And like I said, a lot of this stuff is like, this was a character attack. This was a different type of attack than I think Drake was ready for. I think when it was like the tea, like, oh, well, I have tea and blah, blah, blah. When he came for his character, like he was his fucking therapist. That's something you, that's a different type of jab. Like you really, it's, it starts getting hard to fight that. And it looks like every lyric that he said is correct. And I'm talking about Kendrick with that. He's spiraling it, at this point. We're still doing little attention seeking things. It's making, and what he doesn't realize is it's making him look worse. I feel like, like I said, if he didn't ever release heart, the heart part six and he just let it die, it would have been like an arguable thing with people. I guess I still know who I thought one initially, but with the heart part six and then every antic after that shit, he's just looking worse and worse and worse and worse. And then his minions are doing the same shit. They're making it look bad and they're making it. It's, they're starting to lose credibility because if you can't just be real and be like, you know, that shit was, that shit was ass. Bro. Shit was ass. If you can't just do that, then what the fuck are we talking about? You like, I can't listen to your perspective on anything else. Because it's like any, 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 any insult that was thrown at them, they tried to reverse it and do the same thing. And that's what we call gaslighting. <laughs> you, the, like the, you, you, when you're just trying to, 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 to manipulate somebody's mind and make them think that, oh, well, no, that's actually them or whatever, or make them feel like they're crazy for believing what they are. And you're just literally, like I said, the entire time manipulating and trying to point blame on them. That's what they're, that's what the, the moral of the story is that, that what they're, fuck that's what they're doing <laughs> so i don't know um like i said kendrick performs today so hopefully that goes well uh, other than that we'll just see you know we'll just see what more antics this man got in his belt um so yeah anyways like comment subscribe follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram i'll see y'all next one <laughs>